Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on now, why don't we bless him this morning? Come on, bless him. Come on, bless him. Come on, I told you we were going to prayer today. Come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to do this one song and then we're going right into the presence of the Lord. Everybody lift your hands in the building tonight. You are holy. Oh, so holy. You are holy. presence in the mic please you are holy oh so holy you are holy oh so holy what a privilege and an honor to worship at your throne, yes, to be called into your presence as your own. Your holy. Come on and clap your hands for Jesus. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. God, we bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. Come on, I want you to bless him. I want you to bless him. Come on, people of God, I want you to bless him. Come on, it's prayer time in the sanctuary. I want you to bless him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name, God. We bless your name, God. We bless your high name, Lord. We give you the glory and the honor, God. We come giving you all the praise today. God, we bless you because there's nobody like you nowhere. We bless you, God, because you're El Shaddai. We bless you, God, because you're Jehovah Nisi. You are the banner that watches over us. We bless you because you're Jehovah Nisi. You are the banner that wages protection around us. We bless you, God. We bless you, God. We bless you, God. We bless you, God. Because you are Jehovah Jireh. You are my provider. All that I need is in you, Lord. All that I want is in you, God. There is no need that I have that you cannot provide. And so I thank you, God. Come on, people. You got to thank him today. Come on. If you got to get out of your seat and go walking. Come on. You got to thank him today. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. I thank 
you, God, because you are Jehovah Sidkinu. You are my righteousness. I don't know how to live right without you. I don't know how to stay right without you. I don't know how to live right, God, except you make provision for me. And God, I thank you for your grace and your mercy. I thank you because you provided a way out for me. I thank you, God, because my life was ensnared, but you opened up a passageway in the spirit and you cut me through to freedom. And I praise you forever and ever. I thank you, God, because when I was thinking in my own blood, in my own filth, you still looked at me, God, and found something about me that you could use. And so I praise you today that you didn't leave me wandering in the wilderness. I praise you today that just like the children of Israel, you brought me out, God. You walked me through a slippery place and you didn't let me stay bound by the enemy. But I thank you, Jesus, that you brought me through, God. I thank you, Jesus, that you washed me in your blood. I thank you, Jesus, that your blood has cleansing power. I thank you, Lord, that I'm no longer the person that I used to be. I thank you, God, that every day I strive every day of my life to be more like you, God. I praise you, God. I praise you for putting your spirit down in my belly. I praise you, God, for putting a seek after you in my spirit. I praise you, God, because I know without a shadow of a doubt, God, that if I don't turn to you, then where else can I go? And so I bless you today. I bless you today. I bless you today. Before I ask you for anything, before we ask you to do anything, we praise you, God. We bless you. Come on, somebody. Wake up your flesh. It's time to bless him. It's time to praise him. Come on, your flesh may be still sleepy. You may be tired. You may feel weary. But it's time to bless him. Come on, bless him. The devil don't like it when you bless him. The devil don't like it when you praise him. Because the warfare of the enemy has intensified itself. And the devil thinks that he's stolen your praise. But come on, somebody open up your mouth and begin to shout and praise. Praise him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, shut your eyes and praise him. Come on, I feel a breakthrough in here today. The victory belongs to us today. The victory belongs to us today. The victory belongs to us today. Come on and bless him. We come in your name, Jesus. We come in your matchless name. We come in all the way today. We come in through great trial. We come in through great tribulation. We come in your name. In the name of Jesus. We come to we come to the breakthrough in your name, Jesus. We come to complete healing in your name, Jesus. Come on, somebody. Come on, decree it today. I come in your name. I come in your matchless name. Because when I come in your name, I cannot be stopped. I cannot be hindered. I cannot be cut off at the path. But I have a passageway. I have a passageway into the divine presence of God. Come on, bless him. You got to bless him past pressure. You got to bless him past fear. You got to bless him past worry. Come on and bless him. Come on, bless him. Come on and cast your burdens upon him. Come on, cast your worries upon him. Come on, throw the enemy off of your back. The enemy walked in here with you. Throw him off of your back. Throw him off of your emotions. 
Jesus this very moment because you have the authority to pull him down and not just pull him down but put him under your feet put him under your feet you won't be able to succeed in prayer pull it down and then put it under your feet pull down depression and put it under your feet pull down worry and put it under your feet pull down distractions and put it under your feet now point down to your feet and begin to decree and declare that I have victory over the works of the devil I have victory over the power of Satan I have victory over every diabolical attack from the devil and I decree victory and Satan I command you to stay under my feet I command you for the rest of the day for the rest of the week to stay under my feet I bind you I bind you and the Lord rebukes you I bind you for another Bashan the Messiah Come on, pray in the spirit. Come on, pray in the spirit. Somebody need to walk around this building. Pray in the spirit. Come on, the Bible says that the fervent, effectual prayers of the righteous are valid much. You got to get in your spirit. You got to war in the spirit right now. Open up your mouth as loud as you can. The devil is not going to let you have the victory. The Bible said that when the people of God suffer in violence, the violent, they take it by force. Come on, shout. Come on, shout. Come on, shout. Come on, shout. Come on here. Come on here. This is your season. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. That's it. You taking it. Take it back. The devil ain't gonna let you have it. You gotta take it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, a few more seconds. Come on, a few more seconds. He hates this. He hates when you pray in the spirit because you put him in confusion. You confuse him with your tongue. He don't know what you're going after. He don't know what you're praying for. He can't detect you. He can't trace you. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Because I decree today that I release in the atmosphere every angelic being. I call down Michael and a heavenly host do battle over us while we persevere in the spirit. Be back the enemy. Pull your sword and go to battle over this place. I call the angels from the north, south, 
shut your eyes. Too many people with your eyes open. Shut your eyes. Pray in the Holy Ghost. spirit of weariness break it off of you break that spirit break it break it break it break it break that weariness and you spirit of darkness that comes to wear the body down you spirit of darkness you diabolical spirit you spirit with no name that comes to oppress I cast you off with the people today I break your power I break your spell you have seduced us long enough you have rocked us to sleep on our purpose and I break it now and we will come to purpose and we will fight for our victory and we will fight for our family and we will possess what the enemy that he would not give us I break that spirit of sympathy I break that spirit of apathy I break that spirit of laziness I break that spirit of slothfulness I break it I break it off of you today I cast it off in Jesus name I put it under your feet come on clap your hands clap your hands and scatter the enemy clap your hands and open your mouth and scatter the enemy come on Come on, we're getting ready to pray. We're getting ready to pray for the city. Come on right now. Begin to pray for Kansas City. Come on, begin to pray. Pray everything that the Spirit brings to your mind. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Come on, pray it. Oh God, I decree and declare that there are new boundaries being set. There are new boundaries being set. There are new boundaries being set around this city. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we now, with our mouths, we have built a barricade in the spirit around this city. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, every demon spirit that has been trying to come in, we lock you out from this day forward. And every demon spirit that is already in this city, we wage war on you and you will not be able to sin for help. You will not be able to sin for strength. You've been locked inside of our spiritual barricade and we crush you with our praise. We crush you with our words. We crush you with our tongues. We crush you with our spirit. We crush you to the ground. We will pick you off one by one and name by name. Prostitution, alcohol, drugs, homosexuality, under the Oshaya, prejudice, bigotry, a lying spirit, all of us under witchcraft, witchcraft, every witch, every warlock, every voodoo spirit, every mystical spirit, every divining spirit, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every crystal spirit, every mind spirit, every transcendental meditation spirit, every false anointing, every false tongue, every false religion, 
city. Unyoke the city. Unyoke the city. Unyoke the city. Take your hands off. Unyoke the city. I decree it and I declare it that this city be returned to her original purpose. The purpose that God intended. The purpose of the righteous. The purpose of the righteous. I overrule you. I overrule you in the spirit. I overrule you. And I disallow your activities. I overrule you, Satan. And I vote against all of your principalities. I veto your bill in the spirit. I veto you out. I don't need a collective witness. I personally, I veto you out. Come on, take command over your house and tell the devil without a prayer partner, without a connection, I veto you out. I vote you out of my house. I disallow any more interference in the spirit realm. I disallow any more interference. You have interfered with our destinies. You have interfered with our destinies. You have interfered with the destinies of our children. You have interfered with the destiny of our ministries. You have interfered with the destinies of our husbands and our wives. And we disallow it today. Do I have anybody in this place? I disallow it. I disallow it. I take full authority over everything that is connected to me. And I call it into being to a perfect state. I call it to perfection. For you said in your word, God, that you would perfect those things which concerns me. So I perfect it in the spirit. And I disallow any more internal or external warfare or interference on any that has been placed on my life. Father, loose my mantle. Father, free my mantle. Father, purge my mantle. Father, take the chains off of my mantle. Father, send my mantle. Cast my mantle. Project my mantle. Use my mantle. In the name of Jesus. Come on, you can't get tired yet. You can't get tired yet. Because this right here is a part of the prayer that counts. This is the place right here. I know you're feeling tired now, right? You feel a little dry at the mouth. But this is the part where the devil is depending on you to quit. Because he knows that if you press past this place right here, you press in the power. And so he's depending on you to give up. But you need to decree that I'll pray until I fall out. I'll pray until I can't stand up. I'll pray until I have no voice. I'll pray until I lose strength in all of my being. But I will not stop because I'm at the gate. I'm at the door. I'm in the face of the strong man. 
exactly what you need. You are in the holy place. You are in His divine presence. Come on, do it. Come on, do it. Come on, I said it earlier. Somebody need to get out of your seat. You two stand it. You got to get out of that seat and start walking in the spirit. Somebody get out of your seat and start walking. need to see some people get out of your seat and start walking I need to see some people get out of your seat and start walking cause the devil trying to stabilize your prayer you gotta show him movement in the spirit you gotta show him movement in the spirit you got to show him movement in the spirit. He's got to know that you're not stuck. But you will walk all over his territory. Come on in the lobby. In the overflow room. Come on, let me hear you out there. You walking in some victory. Keep walking. Don't walk and stand still. Because you're in the way of somebody. Security, get out of the way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, release it in the atmosphere. Come on, release those names in the atmosphere. Come on, release your family in the atmosphere. Release those names into the atmosphere and declare. Hold it up, Come on, release it. Come on, release it. Come on, release those names in the atmosphere. What am I doing when I do that? I'm commanding other intercessors to pick up the names of my family to pick up the names of my loved ones come on release those names in the atmosphere come on come on come on
I reverse the curse. I reverse the curse. I reverse any curse associated with my family. The curse won't stand. The curse won't come to pass. Oh, the curse shall not take root. The violent and the verbal accusations of Satan will not take root. They cannot take root. They cannot take root. I won't allow it. I break the curse. I reverse the curse. I declare that every lying tongue, every lying tongue, surrender now. Surrender now. Every lying tongue, surrender. I come against every falsehood over my family. I come against slander and speculations. Against atmospheric pressure. I come against character assassination. Pray your list. Pray what you wrote down. Come on, pray your list. Pray what you wrote down. Who said I shall suck the 
milk of the Gentiles and suck the breast of kings. I shall be enlarged with abundance. My borders shall break forth like never before, God. I decree and declare, Lord, that you shall enlarge my footsteps that my feet not slip. I decree and declare, God, that the enemies that come behind me and that come against me shall be caught in a slippery and a narrow place and they shall slide to their destruction. Lift your hands up all over this building, all over this building, all over this building. Lift your hands up all over this building, all over this building. Lift your hands up all over this building. Lift your hands up all over this building. Lift your hands up all over this building. Everybody in this building begin to worship God right now. Now begin to worship Him. 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 Turn my microphone up. Begin to worship Him. Begin to worship Him. Begin to worship Him. Hallelujah. Come on, worship Him for being who He is. Come on, worship Him for being who He is. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, everybody be seated in his presence. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for victory today. We thank you for victory today. Everybody be seated in his presence. Thank you for victory today. Thank you for victory today. I didn't say stop praying. I said just be seated in his presence. I didn't say stop worshiping. I said be seated in his presence. Thank you, Jesus. Turn my voice up in the house because I see people doing this to me, which means they can't hear me. Thank you, Jesus. I don't have time to repeat myself twice. I'm making spiritual proclamations. People can't ever miss what God is doing. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, keep worshiping him. There's a presence in this place. There's a presence in this place. There's a presence in this place. Come on, there's a presence in this place. Feel this place, God. Come on, worship him. There's a presence in this place. Come on, worship him. There's a presence in this place. Come on, worship him. There's a presence in this place. Come on, open up your mouth and worship him. There's a presence in this place. Oh, shut up. Come on, open up your mouth. I said, open it up. Yeah. 
Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Come on all the way back here. Open up your mouth. Come on, he's moving by his spirit. He's giving you a drink right now. Drink from the fountain. Drink from this fountain. Come on, open up your mouth. I hear the Holy Ghost said, I want to give you a drink today. I want to refresh your spirit. I want to refresh you. I want to break the weariness. Come on, come on, drink, drink, drink. Come on, drink. Come on, throw your head back and drink. Throw your head back and drink. Open up your spirit. Come on, louder. 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 Father, take my spirit on a journey and never bring it back. Take my spirit on a journey and never bring it back. Take my spirit on a journey and never bring it back. 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 Never, 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 Take me, 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 take me. Take me up in the room. Take me through every portal, God. Take me through every realm, God. Take me to every level in you, Jesus. 
I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid, 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 I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to go, I'm not afraid to go, I'm not afraid to go. Break me to go, break me to go, break me to go, break me to go, break me to go. Wash me to go, wash me to go, wash me to go, wash me to go. Purify me to go, purify me to go, purify me to go. Cleanse me to go, cleanse me to go, cleanse me to go. Cleanse me to go, I gotta go. I gotta go, 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 a deeper level come on and tap the deeper level in your spirit today hey, this is your day this is your hour you've been waiting a long time come on come on come on come on come on come on Come on, just a few more seconds. A few more seconds of deep water worship. A few more seconds of deep water worship. A few more seconds of deep water worship. Oh. spirit wants somebody to worship him in that spirit worship him in the spirit of my soul seeks to please you
Transform my life to yours. Transform my life to yours. Holiness, holiness is what I long for. Holiness. Holiness, holiness. I know that's what you want from me. I know that's what you want from us. And I don't know about nobody else in here today, Father. But I want you to take my mind today. I want you to take it and transform it. I want you to take my will and conform it to yours. I want you to take my heart and transform it until it's like you, Lord. No matter what, no matter what, no matter what, Father, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what, I want to be found in the center of your will. be found in the center of your will 
in the center of your will. 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 I came here today. I came in this place today seeking the center. I'm seeking the center. I'm seeking the center. I'm seeking the center. I want to be found in the center of your will. Father, in the center. Father, I praise you because that's where you split the power. That's where you split the power in the center of your will. And Father, I pray in this building today. Father, I can see it. I can see it. I can visualize it. I can see what you were trying to say to me on yesterday. I see what you were trying to reveal to me two days ago. <laughs> that when we are in the center of your will, it's like the atom and it splits from the center and we split off in the power. <laughs> and so Father, today, if we come to the center of your will, you will split us off to power. Hallelujah. You split from the center. You perform from the center. Father, in this place today, split us wide open. Tear us open. I give you permission today to split me wide open. And anything you find that displeases you. Take it. Take it. Take whatever hinders you. Reveal it. Make it manifest. Whatever's trying to hide in the corridors of my spirit. Make it manifest. Thank you, Jesus. Holiness. Holiness is what I long for. is what he needs a life of holiness holiness that's what he wants from me Father, your presence is all over this building. Father, your glory is in this house. Father, 
And we say thank you. 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 And we say thank you for your glory. And we say thank you. And we say thank you for reaching to us. And we say thank you. And we say thank you for blanketing us today. Come on, somebody, don't stop thanking him. Thank him for the next 30 seconds. after you it's your will I'm here to seek
Thank you in the building tonight. Somebody thank you. His spirit is in this atmosphere. We're in the divine presence of the Lord. This is the presence where you can get anything that you need. When the Spirit of the Lord enters into the building like this, like it is this very second, This is what you called being prophetically zoned. And let me tell you what's happening right now. We're in this building and all I need is two people to believe this. We are in this building and the world is outside and we are defying time and movement. In this building right now, the Spirit of the Lord have slowed down time so that he can put a work in time. And if you can believe it right now, he is interjecting a miracle in this building. Time is racing outside, but it's standing still in this building. This is the place right now where you bless him and praise him with everything that you got because the Lord. Somebody need to believe that and really start praising God because something supernatural is happening in this building. Somebody need to start praising him. 
Somebody need to magnify. Somebody need to magnify him. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you praise him, there's a miracle happening. If you praise him, there's a miracle. If you bless him, I know there's a miracle happening. Come on, somebody praise him because there's a miracle happening. load up time to make it happen what's going on out there outside of this building is something totally different than what's going on in here he's transforming in here oh, my, 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 shy. come on somebody give him a praise come on 30 more seconds 30 more seconds sing this one more time and before we end the prayer today I hear the Lord saying that those that give up to me I will pour into them those that give up to me I will pour into them those that give up to me I will do exceedingly and abundantly and above all they can ask or think can I give you the prophetic word on this week I will do exceedingly and abundantly above all they can ask to think. On this week, according to the power that worketh in them. I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, according to the power that you have to give up to me. I'll pour into you. And as I begin to sing this verse again to this song. He said, just stretch yourself out and tell him, I give up to you. I give up to you. Come on, begin to shout that to the Lord. I'm coming after you. I'm coming with all of me. I'm coming after you. It's your will. Lord, I do seek. Come on, here you go. I'm going to lay me at the altar. I'm going to give you all my will. Lord, I'm coming after you. Lord, I'm coming after you. Lord, I'm coming after you. With all. 
now begin to praise him right now begin to praise him right now presence if you would. If you can, if you can. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As we prepare to leave this morning, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As I begin to pray the prayer of the Lord today. I want to read this to you. The scripture is Ephesians, the third chapter. I just want to read it. says for this reason because I preach that you are thus built up together Catherine bring me something to drink I didn't ask you all to sit it down I said hold it For this reason, because I preach that you are thus built up together, I, Paul, am the prisoner of Jesus the Christ for the sake and on behalf of you Gentiles. Assuming that you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace, his unmerited favor that was entrusted to me to dispense to you for your benefit, and that the mystery secret was made known to me and I was allowed to comprehend it by direct revelation as I already briefly wrote you. When you read this, you can understand my insight into the mystery of Christ. This mystery was never disclosed to human beings in past generations. Are you hearing this? What is being revealed in the spirit realm in this hour has never been revealed before in generations past.
in generations past they were not filling sanctuaries at 5 a.m. in the morning this is a mystery If a mystery is being revealed and a revelation is being revealed, then out of the mystery and the revelation is being made manifest something that has never happened before. I'm going to say that again and I'm going to break it simple. You in the realm of it never happened before. Okay, I can't get you to I can't get you to understand that. Prophet Jones, then if you don't want to receive this and you just want to patty cake it, let me just give it to my own spiritual children. We are sitting in a realm today of it never happened before. What's about to happen in every last one of y'all lives has never happened before. Eyes have not seen it, ears have not heard it. It has never been revealed before. It's never happened before. And the reason why the Lord has had to pull some of you back and it seemed like you shot forward Prophet Jones and then he had to pull you back. He said, because your will was so submitted to God that sometimes we'll get beyond the timing of our prophetic release. And the Lord said this next season that you are about to go into, he's going to launch you on time. You were racing so willing to obey God that you were almost moving beyond the, your, your hit point. It's almost like a plane that's flying in the air and it's carrying the kind of missile that when it is dropped is like an atom bomb. But if you're one centimeter off schedule, you can drop in the wrong place in the wrong time and you will destroy but you will not be able to build up and God said now is coming the season that I shall drop you again and this time what I shall drop you in shall permanently remain for my son you are in the season now of it never happened before what I will use you to do he said I want you today to cancel whatever you have seen in time past I want you never again to this day compare yourself to another for I hear the spirit of the Lord saying for what I'm about to do in you it has not been seen before there is no copy for it you will not do it like somebody else as a matter of fact I will use your life to institute a brand new supernatural prophetic move and in time past to come there will be children that will come behind you and compare the anointing that is on their life such as the pity hands for I am using you to institute the end time prophetic healing virtue of God. Somebody come on and bless God in here. I said somebody bless God in this place. Somebody bless God in this place. For I hear the spirit of the Lord saying that I brought us in this place to mount us up. I've drawn you to this place to mount you to another level because that which will be seen happening in your life inside of the next 30 days will come from the realm that it never happened before. He said you shall write it and make it plain. You shall write the vision and the vision shall not tarry for you are in a season of it never happened before and people will look upon you and see the miracle working power of God and they will see the and manifestations of the five-fold ministry come to pass. They will see wealth. They will see revelation. They will see mystery revealed. They will hear the scripture come out of your spirit and the revelation that shall be revealed. They shall ask you where did it come from. They shall hear songs in the spirit that you shall write and they shall say where did it come from and you will be able to proclaim this very day for I've got it from the realm of it never happened before. I'm passing out new, a new anointing, a new wind, a new baptism, a brand new revelation. And it is now being passed down through every portal from the throne room of God. And we are now in the 
realm of inevitable happened before, said the Spirit of the living God. Receive that he's transforming you right now. He says in the fifth verse, this, this is going to be your theme scripture. The fifth verse is going to be your theme scripture. This mystery was never disclosed to human beings in past generations. As it has now been revealed, now, now, it has now been revealed to his holy apostles, consecrated messengers, and prophets by the Holy Spirit. What I am releasing has never been released into the lives of no human beings. It is freshly being revealed. I just wish I had somebody to praise him. And the scripture said that the sixth verse says, my, my daughter, it is this that the Gentiles are now to be fellow heirs with the Jews. And people, and people have mocked me across the country for carrying this ark because today the Lord reveals to me that the reason why that the past has to sit in our present because we would come to this very day where the Gentiles will now become fellow heirs with the Jews. Oh, come on, you better pray. Gentiles are now to be fellow heirs with the Jews members of the same body and joint partakers sharing in the same divine promise in Christ through their acceptance of the glad tidings of the gospel what is he trying to say of this gospel I was made a minister to the gift of God's free grace undeserved favor which was bestowed on me by the exercise, the working in all of its effectiveness of his power. For what? For what believers? For what saints of God? For this. Are you ready for this? To me, though I am very least of all the saints, God's consecrated people, this grace, favor, and privilege was granted and graciously entrusted to proclaim to the Gentiles the unending, boundless, fathomless, incalculable, and exhaustless riches of Christ, wealth which no human being could have ever searched out. Can I break that down for you? 
what the Lord is about to release in your life from making the sacrifice to walk into the mystery of this prayer is going to be boundless and it's going to be incalculable immeasurable he gotta go prayer is usually incalculable you're not going to forget your labor of love you haven't forgotten your faithfulness you ain't going to be able to measure it and I want to say this the mystery in that text is that we wonder sometimes why we're beaten down. And we wonder sometimes why Satan tries to put his foot on us. And we wonder sometimes why we can't get that breakthrough. Because the mystery of this revelation is this, that in order for you to receive this favor, you have to remain the least among them. Okay, somebody can just. Okay, I just, need, I, just, I just need three people to get that. You have to be considered as the least of them. You didn't get that. Come on, come on, come on. In the eyesight of man, you have to be ridiculed and considered the least of them in order to get this kind of mystery favor. So I glory in tribulation. So I glory in persecution. Come on, somebody praise him. So I glory in being considered a nobody. So I glory in being considered a spiritual fanatic.